So now we're going to find the, the correct placement of the pads. So we're going to take the, the four pads that we cut out of our, our kneeling pad or, or the material that we're using. We're going to place one for the snare drum. We're going to place one for the floor tom. Now it's down to yourselves to, to just have a play and work out where it's comfortable. Um, I've turned this pad round the other way just to give it the, the feeling of a, a larger drum when you, you come over to the floor tom to play it. I put the snare drum so it's about a centimetre in from the bottom edge here just so that it's not too near the edge and it's, it's comfortable. Uh, and then our two toms, we need to, to avoid the, the holes that we've drilled for our cymbal. The, uh, the pad here is normally about in line with the snare drum but wherever is comfortable for you and then the medium tom, the other pad, just place. Once you're happy with the placement of the pads, um, just take a pencil and just draw around the edges of them so that when we come back to gluing them in a minute, we know where the glue needs to go. Okay, so the gluing of the pads. We're using a Evo Stick uh, Impact Glue. Uh, this is a solvent based glue, so you do need ventilation when you're using it. Um, you can buy it from any, any DIY store for about £3.50. Um, as you can see, it's quite a runny glue. Uh, it comes with its own, own spatula. So we're just going to take one of the pads. You have to apply the glue to both surfaces. So another advantage of drawing the lines is that we can keep the, the glue inside the lines. So we're just going to scoop the glue out and comb it across the surface. Try and get as close to the edges of the lines as you can. some on the wood and then again the same on the pad. Once you've happy you've glued both surfaces, this glue just needs to go tacky before you put the two surfaces together. So we're just going to leave it for 5 to 10 minutes just for the glue to go off. So having stuck our pads now, um, we now need to take the pieces of studding. The first piece of studding we're going to take is the short piece of studding, uh, which goes into the hole we've made for the hi-hat. Uh, we'll also need our spanner and our grips again and one nylock. So we're going to take the studding, we're going to place through the hole so that it comes out underneath. We're going to take our nylock and we're going to screw onto the studding underneath to clamp this bar between the two pieces of wood. So if we take the nylock and just screw it onto the piece of studding and then we're just going to clamp the piece of studding with our pliers and using the spanner we're just going to wind the nylock on so the end of the studding just comes through the nut. That's all we're looking for, it just to come through the nut. And that will clamp that piece firmly onto the piece of wood. We're then going to take the two long pieces of studding and we're going to place them in the holes here. Now, 
the idea is that these pieces of studding will be able to go in and out of the hole to slide it under a bed or for easy storage. So we're just going to use the piece of blue tack, just a tiny amount, rolled up into a ball, and we're just going to drop it in the hole, and that will just stop the studding from turning when we're playing the cymbals. You may need to replace that occasionally, but if you just screw the studding down into the hole until it hits the bottom and makes contact with the blue tack, and you'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so we're now going to look at our symbols using the frisbees and the mouse mats. So we've got a, a standard mouse mat, we've got a frisbee uh, and a craft knife. Uh, the first thing we need to do is take the sticker off the top of the frisbee so we can see what we're doing. Um, after we've taken the sticker off the top of the frisbee, we're going to cut our mouse mat into the shape of half the frisbee. So a half circle. We can either lay the frisbee over the top and just draw around the edge and then draw a line across it, or you can cut it out with a pair of scissors, whatever you find easier. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to drill an 8mm hole using our drill bit straight through the middle of the frisbee, but when we're drilling, make sure that we put a piece of wood or an off cut of the uh, kneading pad underneath so we don't drill through the floor. Okay, so we've drilled the 8mm hole, we've removed the sticker, we're now just going to mark the mouse pad up. So we're just going to turn the frisbee over um, and you can see using the edge of the hole, the edge of the mouse pad, just with a pencil, just draw around the edge of the frisbee on the mouse pad and then you have a nice line that we can cut out either with our craft knife on a board or just using a pair of scissors. So we're then going to take the pad that we've cut out, we're going to stick that using the same glue in the same way as we did the pads onto the frisbee. So we're going to apply glue to both surfaces, leave it 10 minutes and put the two surfaces together. So having stuck the uh, mouse mat onto the frisbee, um, we now just need to cut the last little bit out. We're going to take our penny washer, which is going to support the frisbee on either side when we clamp it on in a minute. We just need to place that over the hole and draw around it. just cut that semicircle out using a craft knife just so that the washer can sit flush on the frisbee face. Okay so we're now going to put the, the symbols onto the, the drum kit we made earlier. Um, we're going to take two uh, of the penny washers and one nylock. Um, so we've got the two penny washers and a nylock. We're going to put on the high hat we're going to put one penny washer on. We're then going to put our frisbee on the top we're going to put the penny washer on and then we're going to tighten the nylock on the top. So if we get the, the nut started we can line the cymbal up to the, the playing area and then as we did before we hold the piece of studding using our grips underneath and we use our spanner or our adjustable spanner just to tighten the nylock so the studding just comes to the top of the nut. You may need to adjust the, the nut underneath it if you haven't got enough movement on the top nut here but again you can just use your spanner underneath and adjust it as need be. With the, uh, with the crash symbol and the rise symbol they're identical. Um, again we're just going to take uh, a flat washer, penny washer, we're going to put the symbol on top, another washer on top, and we're just going to clamp that down in exactly the same way using our nylock. Again, with our grips we can hold underneath, and with our spanner we can just tighten it up. And we're going to do the same with the other symbol. So as you can see we've done the same with the other symbol and we now have our finished product of uh, 
drum kit for £20 or around there.